Whitman. Here comes a one-time shot that goes up and in. How about that? Fordham takes a 1-0 lead. Casey Nowakowski moved up the right wing and one-timed a back pass into the upper left corner of the goal. That's the first point, the first goal of her career. Coppola tries a diagonal ball that works its way through. Moore kicks it towards White, and she's able to pick it up. Back by Nowakowski. Set up for Coombs. Tries a long strike, and it's knocked down by White. Tries to get the rebound, and it's kicked into the net for a goal. Atlantic 10 women's soccer titles. And here comes UMass. Shot, score. Carvalera in a great spot. Leaves it to Whitman. Score. The Rams equalized with 21 minutes, five seconds to go. It's Jessica Whitman. Her third goal of the season. And we're back to even pegging yards of goal line extended eight within the area kicked on net and Allie White makes a nice stop did away skied into the air it's a savage right back on it White able to keep it away at first try and now the whistle blows it's a foul Coombs and that ball will go out for a goal kick and this game is headed for overtime The second half clock runs out, and we're going to need some bonus time to figure out a winner in this one. The far side comes Likonski. Ships it further for Natal. Plays a low cross. It deflects towards Whitman on net. It bounces in front of the goal and goes wide left to Nowakowski again. Chipped back for Casey. Nowakowski from distance and was looking for Natal streaking up the back post. Kicked ahead, Svera's daughter misjudges the ball. Widman knocked down by the keeper, Krasensky. Picked up by Gibson with seven seconds left and Gibson will kick it away over the touch line. Be content to take this to a second overtime. Throws it back for Nowakowski. Kicks the ball into the area towards the net and it's parried over. Nowakowski looking for a repeat of her seventh minute goal and didn't miss by much. Krasensky just enough of a touch to put it over the bar. Comes down in the towel, back to Widman. Widman to the center, fire, score! Kamikati for the win in overtime. Fordham three, Massachusetts two in double overtime. Kanakati with the game winning score. We're here with junior Jess Widman of the Fordham women's soccer team following the Rams overtime win over UMass on Sunday. Jess, it was a roller coaster ride today. You guys score the early goal, they score back, they take the lead, you score back. Talk about this entire game as a whole uh, and in the emotional roller coaster that it was. Well, we started out scoring first. Casey had a beautiful goal, and then they come right back at us and they score, and then they scored again. And we had a, we fought hard. We didn't let down, and definitely one of the big things we work on is trying to come back from when other teams score on us. And we came back two two. We're used to overtimes right now, so we got uh, that goal in the second overtime, and it was it was a great great goal by Lorena. For yourself today, a goal and two assists. You get the game tying goal there uh, with about you know, 17, 18 minutes left in the second half. Talk about that finish. Uh, well, Carbs just played me like a perfect ball. She could have taken it herself, and she just laid it off right to me, and I was wide open. I just hit it, and the goalie was not in the center, and it was a great effort by Carbs and me together. 
and then in the second overtime, you set up Kanakati for that game-winning goal. Talk about how that play developed just before you got it over to Kanakati. Uh, I just like went uh, went for the ball. I knew that we were running low on time, and I did not want to lose this game. So I got in. She was calling for it, and thank God she did. She was wide open. I just played it, and she played a beautiful ball into the corner of the goal. We're here with junior Maria Lorena Conacati following the Rams' overtime win over UMass on Sunday. Maria, you get the game-winning goal there in overtime. Talk about how it developed really late in the second over overtime period. Um, well, Jess had the ball, and she played me a beautiful ball right at my feet. I just hit it as hard as I can, and it, it was a great moment. You guys really seem to take over uh, offensively when you move the, the third forward up there. Can you talk a little bit about that strategy after you tied the game? You guys really seem to control the ball for the most part. Um, yeah, we put um, carbs up there hoping that she can uh, get the ball at her head, maybe flick it on or get it at her feet and try to play it out wide. And um, that really helped and develop the offensive attack. Obviously, this is a huge win for you guys. Only two games left in conference play. This gets you with a chance uh, there. And now you guys are even with UMass with with uh, seven points there. You know, talk about how big this win is and, and going into next week's matchup against at Dayton. Uh, this one was huge for us. Um, it just got our confidence level so up, like up more because we know that we need to get these last two wins and we're feeling good about it and we're ready to take on Dayton. Great. Thanks a lot, Lorena, Thank and uh, congrats on the win. Thank you.